Hi, my name is Lee. Um, I'm from England and I teach science, mainly physics. Um, I teach from 11 to 18 years old and the experiment I'm going to do is the force extension of a rubber band. Hi, today I'm going to show you an experiment on force extension of a rubber band. Uh, the equipment that we use is a piece of sellotape. Um, we use a ruler and a rubber band and then to measure the force we're actually going to use a force meter and then the force meter is connected to TI Inspire CX calculator. Okay, right, to carry out the experiment then, we uh, need to measure the force for different extensions. We're going to use um, the, the TA at Inspire in events with entry mode, so I'm going to set that up first. Um, and before we do that, we need to zero the force meter, so I'm just going to zero it first. Alright, so that's the force meter zeroed now. Um, the ruler has been set up so that the rubber band basically gets up to odds zero when just with very little force at the start, okay? So this is, the, from then on, we're going to measure the extension of the rubber band. So we put a pen in, and we start off from zero, and that should be near enough zero on the force meter. And then we pull the rubber band to five centimeters to measure the first extension. Um, and to do that, we need to select the events with entry mode, so put that on. And in the box that comes up, we need to type the unit that we're going to measure all along the um, x-axis, which is the extension. So I'm going to put that, that in. And then the units are going to be in centimetres. Once we've done that, we just OK that. OK, and then we press Start. OK, pull it to 5 centimetres and then store that value. And we need to type in 5, which is the distance. And then once we've logged that, we then go to 10 centimetres. Um, and again, we log that force. And then we go to 15. and then 20. And we could continue with that. We could go up to 30 centimetres, but we're, I'm just going to stop there. That's just giving you an idea of how we do the practical. Right, um, once you've done the practical, you can then basically um, look at the graph that you get. You should find you get a straight line graph, and you can analyse the graph. Um, the idea of the practical is that you can see how what proportional relationship will be and also you can actually look at whether your data is good or not by looking at the line of best fit and seeing how scattered the data is around the graph.